right, so here we are again. It is episode 191 of Craft Roulette, and this week the project had to be a drop down. So I'm going to make a drop down card. The element was Seasons. It's going to be a winter card. I'm going to use this Crafter's Companion Edgeable set that makes this little snowman scene. Um, the colors were Kitchen Table. That's really kind of any colors you want. And Random Hat was Shiny. So I am going to cut the season's greetings out of the red mirror card. And these pieces over here are what I'm going to use to make these pieces stand up. All right, so the first thing I want to do is get everything cut out. So this is going to be my card base. So I put some notes on here because I was trying to figure out where exactly I wanted to cut everything. So the kids go in front. And so this is going to sit a half an inch from the bottom. So let me grab my ruler. So this is going to be a half an inch from here. So let me grab some tape. I have post-it tape. And I'm going to take two pieces. So a half inch is that mark right here. So I'm going to line that up there. And here. Put some tape here and I'll put one on this side, make sure that doesn't move. Yeah, I think that's the way I want it. Now the second layer, I'm gonna have an inch from the bottom and the second one is the trees. So I'm gonna lay the trees down with the little snowman and that's going to be an inch from the bottom. Tape that down. I'm pretty sure these measurements are right. And if they're too tall, I can always cut a little bit off the bottom. But I think this was a good starting point. And this is going to be three quarters of an inch from the bottom. Which I have my right one here, right here. This will be here. Three quarters. And one right here. And then the other thing we need to cut out is the season's greeting, which has a shadow on it too. Let me make sure this is going to fit. Because this will be on the front. Yep, that will fit. All right. All right, so let's cut this out. And I don't need to run this whole thing through the machine, so let me grab my scissors. All right, we'll tape this down. All right, now let's run all this through the machine. Oh, I need this. Let's see, I don't know what color I want to do with that, so I think I will do it just white. So I will take this piece here, and just tape that down. Cut this part off. And let's see if it will all fit on one run of my machine. All right, so everything is now cut. All right, so we have season's greetings. There is our shiny. That part is done. I will take this off. And in case you're wondering, I have the Gemini Pro, which is their 12-inch machine. And uh, I really like it for the reasons you just saw. You can load everything up there and call it good. All right, so there's that piece. There's my shadow. Here. 
there's the house and the trees. And the snowman. All right, let me get all the dyes out of the way. All right, let me get this out of the way. All right, so now what do I have? Let me get the card base. I have my season's greeting. I think it goes that way. We have the house. Snowman. And trees. All right, now all we need to do is color these. And I have a bunch of markers. So I have B97. I have R37, G85, C5, V06, and a white paint pen. All right, so let me get a piece of scratch paper and I'll explain these in a minute. Let's just get these colored. All right, so I'm trying a new camera angle today and we'll see if I can keep from banging my head on it. So far, I think I've done it twice. So this may not work. All right, so first let's color the trees. So the trees are gonna be the G85. So when you're doing something like this, all you really have to do is just very quickly color it. Decide where your line is gonna be on the bottom. So I have to continue my snowbank to know where to stop. And I'm gonna color this in. Maybe I'll give it a little bit of shading here. This is heavy paper. It's not um, the best paper for coloring, but it needed to be heavy so I could make it stand up. So by the time it's done decorated, it'll be fine. Because there is a um, emboss here that shows you where the tree ends, but it's hard to see if it's laying flat. my paint pen so I'll help the kids we'll have the house in the back and this in the middle 
Yeah, because this one I can attach to the back of the card if I need to make it a little higher. Let me see. What do I have? Yeah, that one's too low. So that needs to be higher. So I can just attach that to the back with the foam. And let me do something with these trees here. I'm just going to go across a little here, and a little over here. Little wiggly lines. I don't want the lines to be straight. Put some snow on the house. We'll go over here a little bit. Wiggly lines. These are smaller trees, so want these to be a little smaller. And those little dots. All right, I think that's good. All right, so give this a minute to dry. While that dries, I will start constructing this. All right, so the front of the card, I'm going to have the season's greetings. So this will be on the front, and this will be here. So I need something behind here. So let me measure this. I believe I cut an inch and a half off. So this is three and a half inches. So let me find some paper that is three and a quarter that will go on this. So I have this snowflake paper and I think this might work. Yeah, I think this will work. So let me cut this. All right, so I'm gonna cut this to, let's see. Cut this to six and three quarters. And what I say I had here, I had three and a half. So I'm going to cut this to three and a quarter. You know what? I'm going to cut it from the bottom. So I'm going to save that piece for the top. Three and a quarter. Let me see what this looks like. All right, so if this is here, this will be on here. Yeah, so I'm thinking I want this piece in the back here. Yeah, so I'm going to cut this to um, six and three quarters by four and three quarters. This will be on here. And this will be here. All right, so let me glue these down. in the center. And I want to leave this white. You know, I think I actually do want to leave that white. Alright, so I'll glue that on here. This is going to get glued on here. It 
looks pretty straight. Okay, now the house will be up against the wall. But I want to make it look like there's windows in this house. So I need to get a little piece of scrap paper. And... I'm going to lay this down, and then I'm going to take a pencil, put a little mark here, I need to cut it smaller than that, the door is here, and then the rest of it could be windows. All right, I've got my scissors, I want to cut on this side of the mark. here and that will all be hidden okay so the door bring the markers back I think I'll give it a red door and yellow windows let me find a bright yellow that should do it let's see We'll glue this down. A little glue there, and a little glue over there. Line it up. There we go. Now our house has uh, lights on. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on foam. And I'm going to use 1 16th foam. I don't want it really high. I just want it not up against the back wall of the card. All right. Let me move my pile of stuff here. So that will be right like that. Okay, so that is now all set. Just need to figure out where I want to put that. Because this will be in the front, and then this one. So how high can I put this? I can go that high. All right. Let me put a little mark here. So I'm going to cover that mark. All right. Pull this off. Now, I'm hoping this doesn't interfere with the rest of it. If it does, I'll have to pull it, pull it off and then just attach it to the back. But it should be all right. Okay, so now let's go to these funny little pieces I have here. So these little pieces here are two inches, two inches long, one inch wide, and they are scored every half inch. So I end up with four pieces. So let me show you how I did. I'm going to need four since I'm going to attach this to the back. But let me show you how I did it. All right, so... I'm just going to hold this up here, and it really doesn't matter what number you hold it up against. So, if it's up against a three, and you just do this to be comfortable. So, I'm going to go in at two and a half, at two, and then a half. So, just pick a number and line it up, and then just go in a half an inch. For me, it's just easier since I'm left-handed to go on that side. And then, you just fold it. Get it nice and loose. There we go. So now to put these in the card, you take the score that. All right, you want those really loose. So I'm gonna need four. I have some extra ones here in case I have a problem. 
All right, so I have to start with the one that's going to go further back. So that's this one here with the little snowman on it. This is all dry now. So I'm going to fold this in half. I'm going to attach glue here and here. And this time I'm going to use tacky glue. Let me bring this in so I can leave it upside down. So what we're going to do is this is going to sit in here. And I'm going to fold the card down and it will catch the glue here and the glue here will be stuck to the bottom. And then when it opens, it will make the square that I need to attach this to. You also can do this with a five section piece, but this has less bulk. And I'm going to use tacky glue because it grabs faster than the call out glue I usually use. And this is not something that's going to show, so I'm not worried about the paper wrinkling. So you just put this right in the fold. See, it's right there in the fold. Then I'm going to close the paper. Now when I open it, it makes the square. Yeah, just give it a second to grab hold. Now we'll get the other one ready. Make sure it's all nice and loose. Fold it in half. Glue on this side, glue on this side. Let me open this gently. I will put it in this side and close it. Now we'll just have to let this set for a second. All right, that first one is good. Second one needs another moment or two. And then it will stand up. All right, so now we're going to take our snowman here and glue it right to here. So I'm just going to put glue on the front here and here. I'll take my snowman piece, line it up with the edge. Make sure it's resting up against the bottom here. I know it's a lot of white on white. You can't see it. And I'm going to close the card. Give that a few more seconds there. Get my next one all set. Fold it. Glue on this side. Glue on this side. Lift. Paper slides in here. Fold it down. I'll hold that while I get the next one going. Glue on this side. Glue on this side. So I have my four pieces, lift it up, put it in here, make sure the other one's still in the right place, press down. And we'll give this a moment. All right, so now we're gonna do the same thing again. Put glue on here. Glue on here. Take this, line it up here. The front of the card, the sides of the card, I should say. Put it flush up against the piece that we're going to fold down and fold down. Oh, he almost sticks out. Let's see, he peeks out just a little bit. Let's see. I think that will be fine. All right, let me move this back here. While that dries, I'm going to glue this front on here. So let's make sure I have this in the right direction. Oh my goodness, my dog is behind me and she is snoring. For those of you that don't know, I have a 16 year old. Beagle Bassett mix. And uh, she likes to sit under the desk, but this time she's behind me. And she's in the corner and I can still hear her. I know you can. Oh my goodness. She is just snoring away this morning. All right. Let 
me put this on here. I will wipe off the excess glue. This will be my shiny. Let me wipe this off. Okay, so that looks good. So let me see if this will fold down now. There we go. Oh, see now he's back there. Now you can't see him. All right, while that dries, let me deal with this front part here. I was hoping this was gonna fit. Let's see. Oh, it fits. It fits just fine. This says, may blessings be your yours this Christmas and always. So I'm going to stamp this. Let's see. Take my sticky mat. This is the Waffle Flower sticky mat. I just recently got it and so far I'm liking it a lot. Um, it washes really nice so it's better than the other sticky mat I was using because the other one after a while you, you couldn't wash it. All right, let's see if I can stop hitting that camera. All right, so this is going to be over here. Like this. I think like that. All right, so let me grab some ink. And I'm going to use the Gina K ink. I like this ink um, because you can use water based products. You can use alcohol based products. You can use colored pencils on it with Gamasol and it doesn't care. There we go. Very nice. That act gives you a nice stamp. Let's see. So let's cut this down. Let's make sure this still fits. Yep, it still fits. So there's not a lot of room to put a matte layer on here. So I'm going to edge this. I don't think I want to do black, though. I think I want to do blue. So let me grab powder blue. All right, so this is light lilac from Gina K. And I think that's that color. Let me see here. Yeah, that's pretty close to that color. So I'm going to use this. And I'm just going to go along the edge. Just so when I put it on the bottom of the card here, it just has a little bit of a, a finish to it. So that only takes a second. And it really does make a difference. All right, let's see if this is dry. Don't want to manhandle it too much until it's dry. Yeah, see the difference it makes when you put that on there? You know what? I think this still needs something behind it. Let me see. Yeah, I think I want to put this on the bottom. Let me see how much space I have here. All right, so I have two and a quarter inches. All right, I'm going to fold this down. I am going to put something heavy on it. And let that dry a few more minutes. So I said two and a quarter. So how big is this? So this is two and a quarter. 
if I can cut this down a little bit. All right, so I had some patience and I let everything dry. And I think we're good now. We're all set. So now let's glue the front. All right, so let's cut the paper for the front. So I have two and a quarter. Let's cut this to two and a quarter, I think is what I want to do. I want that side. So let's go two and a quarter, see if this is right. This is going to get glued on the bottom. Oh, let me use my regular glue. I don't want this to wrinkle. And I think because this is on this side, I think I want to put this down on the other corner. So we'll put this in the middle. And now this will need to be flat. I'm afraid if I it already has enough bulk in it. I don't want to add any more bulk with putting this on foam. So we'll put this here. All right, so the inside is all done. All right, so now we're gonna close it up. So now we have season's greetings to go on the front. This can go on foam. I think, let me see. How thick is this card getting? I think it'll be all right on foam. I'm just going to use the skinny foam. We'll put this in the middle. So I'm trying to decide if it needs something across the top here. Maybe not. Because then when you open it, it has that nice snowflake there. I don't think I want to interfere with that. So I think I'm going to call this finished. So here we go. So we have our project, which is drop down. Our season, which is winter. We have our colors, which is table. You know, it can be pretty much any color that's on your supper table. Food color, plates color, placemats, tablecloths colors. And random was shiny. And our season's greeting is shiny. So there it is. So if you like this, give me a like. If you want to see the other videos, uh, subscribe and you'll get a notification. And because starting on the first of the month, I have two different advent calendars that I'll be opening every day. One from Crafter's Companion and one from Pink and Main. And there will be a video for each door that is opened. So until next time, stay crafty.